26th of June, 7.07 in the morning, looking at November 2015 UK week chart. And as usual, we'll start with a monthly chart in front of us. And you can see here, we've got this big uh, green candle now forming as we come towards the end of June. Had this uncertain month here in May, this um, sort of like a star formation. And obviously we had the uh, negative months here in April. Um, we, uh, you can see here that we are breaking above these lows made in January and February at 125. Uh, like to see the market close above that. And then we have another look to test this 130. RSI is going up, uh, pop down into the daily and you can see here that uh, we're having another go at retaking the six day moving average again uh, which is important. We had a big green candle here up through it. Uh, I say this is swing low which was the low of February uh, up here at 125. We've now cleared that on last night's close. Uh, my Elliott wave, wave count are coming in here, one, two, three, four. Obviously, um, on my original estimate, my three was not was up here at 134. We fell short of that. Uh, we then came down and we came lower than I'd like to see coming down here to 122. But we have got now three lower highs, high, three high lows in place. Uh, indication of a small term upwards trend, which we're seeing on that uh, monthly chart. RSI is over again, back over the 50, giving us indication of strength again in the market. Um, see no reason now why we can't go up to look to test this high here, <coughs> the three, and even go up to test my original target here, 132, 134. Obviously, taking out um, any of these uh, last swing lows down here, 21 or 20, would negate this, but at the moment we've got a short term indication with the market coming above the uh, six day moving average. So obviously you look for update um, and we'll keep an eye on things next week. Uh, just finally um, looking on the US market, you can see here quite clearly, it's been range bound all this year uh, with the high of 538 being the resistance. Uh, we're here as we speak, uh, will it break through? It's broken above the 500, $5 mark. Um, it's it's clear there's 100 day moving average it's been interesting to see if that pops above it that'll probably give the boost to the uk market to get up to that 130 134. Um, just finally have a look at the uh, french market you can see that similar got a small range consolidation here found support this 177 level takes out 186 you've got instant uh, jump here to 200 where the last spring ride here was uh, back in march and finally look at rape seed, uh, broken out high 380, uh, broken out the upward sloping channel, target four looks possible straight away, strength locked in on the RSI, looking very bullish. Um, so we'll put an update on the wheat market this time next week. Thanks for watching.